Morning guys, so today I'm going to do a little bit of um, shooting through the chronograph and seeing what the power levels are, how they're going to be different when shooting on different power settings. There were some people that wanted to know about the differences in the power setting with these Hades pellets, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot through the chronograph and let you all see exactly what the difference is. Alright, this is on power setting max. That was five on power setting max, so now let's go down to minimum and do five more. And now we're gonna go to power level, I guess that would be C. And now just to prove that C and 3 are the same thing, we're going to go to 3. Alright, well that's that. Every setting is right around a thousand feet per second and it seems like when I turn it down to minimum it actually shoots faster and that really has to do with how the spring is actually hitting the um, the regulator valve and that basically means that I probably have my regulator set a little bit too high and or it's got too much pressure in it and so when I when I tuned it I tuned it on max and I guess my gun shoots a lot better around the just a little bit under a thousand feet per second than it does shooting over a thousand feet per second and that's that's acceptable and that's uh, that's what you pretty much are seeing with the lighter pellets they destabilize once you get too much over a thousand feet per second so what I, I'm probably going to take my gun back in and retune it so that it's shooting around 990 980 feet per second on max and then have it shooting around I would say 810 800 feet per second on minimum so now I want to do some long range shooting and show you the performance out to 80 yards uh, it's a little windy today so just bear with me and the first first shot is going to be at 35 yards we're going to do a five shot group and then at 40 yards is a five shot group 50 yards is a five shot group and then 70 and then out to 80 35 yards All right, now we are going to move out to 40. All right, now it's time to go out to 50. All right, now it's time to push out to 70. I don't have a 60 yard target yet. It's just because I haven't bought one and put it out there. So we're going 70. I have to take back what I said. It's not 70, it's 75 yards.
I shot a few extra rounds on that just to see if it was me or the gun. It's me is why it seems a little shaky because running up and down this hill and I'll take you on the perilous journey to go set the target up for the 80 yard shot but uh, kind of sweaty and I'm out of breath typically when I come up here and shoot. So let's go for a quick walk and I'll show you the journey. There's that. The journey is complete. All right, had to make a slight change to my equipment because I'm shooting 80 yards and I'm out of breath from running up and down this hill. So this is what I added. Caldwell shooting bag. That should allow me to be stable enough to at least make some uh, pretty decent 80 yard shots just to show you that it's not the gun, it's me. And these Hades pellets are extremely accurate and they're a lot flatter shooting than the 18.13 grain Diablo heavies. So let's see how it works. That's it. A little bit of left to right wind put me, I think, from what I can tell out of the scope, a little bit to the right. So I'm about to go down there and take a look, see what we got. All right, finally approaching the 80 yard target now, which for you wasn't any time at all. For me, it was a little walk. Obviously you saw it on the other camera, but this camera seems to be a little better. So that's what we got right there. Pretty good for 80 yards and out of breath, you know, I got a couple of them on top of each other and the rest are, you know, somewhere around there. And then let's see what this 70 looks like, or 75, there's 75, so that's a Sony Handycam beside it. You know, it's probably maybe two and a half inch group. I'll get a tape measure maybe. Nah, I'm not going to get a tape measure. Y'all can see it, it's about a two and a half inch group at 70 yards. And that's not bad, being so that when I was shooting 70 yards, I didn't have a rest for the back of the gun. All I had was my elbows on the table. So there's 50 yards. Obviously, there's the handy cam beside it. That's about inch and a half group. If you just take this flyer out of there, it's about an inch and a half group. Still not bad. You know, I, I could do some more tuning on it and get it better. So here we go, 40 yards. My dad shot at a little bit, but probably about an inch group. So it holds true all the way out. And then, so let me take you and show you the last 35 yard group, you know, with this camera and all. There's my 35 yard group. Looks like it's about one hole. That's the JSB. Diablo Hades pellets shooting groups like that and um, I could do the same thing all day long with the jumbo heavies and they're gonna all shoot both of them they shoot very very similar if not exactly the same as each other so I think that's about all y'all y'all wanted to see was some chronograph shoots and some distance shoots well, none of y'all requested any distance, but I figured might as well shoot some distance with it, right? All right, well, I'm just gonna sit here in the backyard and shoot them up and have a good time playing with my air gun and seeing if I can't walk my groups in a little bit better. Thanks, guys.